What's up, everyone? Game Player 2014 here. I'm gonna be showing you uh, why Bernie Sanders supporters piss me off because they want the minimum wage up. So this is a presentation sort of thing on why raising the minimum wage is horrible. It'll rape the government right up the rectum. Now, before I go in depth, everything was screenshotted from Microsoft Paint. I wrote everything down because it was faster than typing. I, you know, I write faster than I type. That and the value of a touch screen is... It's hard to exp... It, it, it's, it's extremely valuable to have a touch screen if you want to write notes down. Because, you know, who the hell wants to type when you could just use a touch screen, you know? I had a touch screen in school. It was awesome. Everybody else didn't have one. I could just wanted to paint. I can write everything down. It's better than having a damn notebook. I'm watching this thing on a Sasquatch sort of thing. Some pretty big feet. Some by socks, some by rock. What? I don't even know. A fucking freak. It's not Sasquatch, it's Yeti. To be more specific, since they're in the way. Okay, I'm getting off on a tangent here. Now, back to the topic here. This is why Bernie Sanders supporters piss me off. Because they want to raise the minimum wage up to $15 an hour. Well, you can see where the cost of living and food is going to go up because you got to pay your employees more. You know, everything goes up. But your value of your workers goes down, and the value of your currency also goes down. Which we'll be talking about value of currency here in a short little bit. Now, they also want free education. Where the fuck is this money going to come from, my asshole? The fucking money fairy up in the fucking sky there? Is Jesus Christ himself going to start throwing money down at the government? Fuck no. Jesus Christ could give a fuck about the United States government. He wants to send the United States... If the government was a person, he'd be down with Satan. No, no, Satan won't even want it. Because the United States government is so fucked up, Satan don't even want it. So, again, where's this money going to come from? Who wants to pay an another 25% taxes because they want all these lunatics to go to Harvard and Yale and, you know, all this bullshit? Professors are going to fucking leave, and I'm going to, you know, this it's better off on another topic. So, in today's society, I'm probably wrong on this wage here, but say a nurse gets paid twelve fifty an hour, and a burger flipper gets paid minimum wage, of course. When you up the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour, a nurse and a burger flipper are now being paid equal wages. Are you going to value, are you going to value a nurse to a burger flipper? Let me word that differently. Is a nurse as valuable as a burger flipper? A burger flipper don't need to go to college. A burger flipper don't even need to go to school. A burger flipper all has to do is just ejaculate and he's fucking got a job. You know, he masturbates in front of the boss, boom, right on the burger, ships it out right in your mouth. Call it that secret sauce that Taco Bell has. Probably real, it's probably fucking semen anyway. Disgusting. Is that a mummy? Is that a... No way. Oh, that's just a dude. Anyway, a nurse has got to go to college for four years. Well, if you want to be an LPN, you know, a licensed practical nurse, you got to go for like two and a half years, or maybe it's like two years or something. Two to four years. An RN, you need to go for four years, four to eight years. And if you want to be a doctor, it's like six to ten years or some fucking bullshit. It, also, it depends on fucking, you know, everything. So, again, are you going to value a nurse as, as you would a Barker flipper? No. Well, uh, game play, they're just gonna bump the nurse, they're gonna double the nurse's wage, they're gonna get paid 25 bucks an hour. <laughs> well, no, that can't happen, because, say, uh, this is a good example right here I came up with, and somebody actually sort of hinted to this, so I just wrote it out. You have 800 employees at a company, and the company pays them $10,000. You got $10,000. They have $10,000 in a bank, but they pay them $10 an hour. Full week, that's $8,000 right there. They want $1,000 to upgrade... Not upgrade. Well, yeah, upgrade. They want it for upgrades and maintenance and, you know, $1,000 in bills. They pay it weekly, example-wise. You have 800 employees at $15 an hour now. Well, guess what? That's $12,000. Well, we can't have that. The employees can say, well, well, we can't have that. Let's see what happens when we lay off 100 people. So they lay off 100 people, $15 an hour. It's 10, still $10,500 over the, you know, over the limit. Can't have that. It's no good. Ten and a half is greater than ten. You want you want it to be less than ten. You lay over hundred people, fifteen dollars an hour, it's nine thousand dollars flat. Do you see the sort of the pattern going on here? If you don't, you need to grow a set of eyes, you need to grow a brain as well. 
because you can't have that either. They want the thousand dollars to upgrade and maintenance, and they want a thousand dollars bills because they ain't gonna do that. They may be nice on doing that, but real, real world, they may have another fifty people at five fifty. That's eight, that's eighty two fifty right there. They still got seven hundred fifty dollars. You know, you can work with seven hundred fifty dollars to maintain. But you ain't gonna be top of the line maintenance, but you know, it's, it's gonna be upgrades. You know, might be slower upgrades, but you know, they're still upgrades. But you know, I I was kind in laying off the 250. Other employers might lay off the 300 because when you lay off the 300 people, do the math. That's 7,000. Now you got 2,000 dollars for upgrades and 1,000 dollars for bills. See where I'm getting at? So a little bit of money management here with minimum wage here, because you can make it work. 725 times eight hours is 58 dollars a day. That's a whole work week, you know. 290 for a work week, five days. After taxes, you know, they take 25%. It's two seventeen fifty. I'm probably wrong on that because I did take the 290 and I times it by 0.25. I got like a, I got like something, um, 80, I think I got 83.50, I think. So I subtracted that and I got a 217.50. I might be wrong there, but I know they do take about 25% of your taxes. Well, where I live at. So a college kid, you know, they'll probably be working five and a half hours at 39.875, you know, at times that. That's what you got. 39.88 a day. You know, th times three days, it's 119.625. You know, 119.63, you know, a normal work week. Well, that's three days right there. It's three day a week. Well, that's not a lot of money. Well, now you got $58 a day for the two weekend days. It's $116. $119.63. Times one or plus one sixteen, you get two thirty five sixty three. After taxes, you should get about one seventy six seventy two. Now, when I saw this, I my mind about exploded because I don't know how the hell this law. Because I don't know how, the math is right, but I don't know how the hell. Whenever I was working a minimum wage job, because I got paid like eighty ninety dollars a week. Well, well, yeah, I did spend it. I spent that on a bunch of fucking snacks. Man, that's a terrible choice. Don't regret it though. <laughs> but uh, my mind, exp you know, my mind popped when I, when I saw this number because I know I was getting about eighty, ninety dollars a week. Then it sort of occurred to me I had to have like two dependents, or I think I had to have one dependent. Now I have none. The only person I depended is on myself, so I put that at zero. But you know, I got paid like eighty bucks a week. They only did they did work me three days though. They sometimes they worked me. You know, two days a week. You know, sometimes I had Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday off, or Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off. Or, you know, whatever. It's not bad looking. But, you know, there was a check on the TV there. You know, she wasn't bad looking. But you know, my mind sort of exploded because with the one dependent, if they were seriously taking another hundred dollars off of me, you know, something, you know. Maybe I did my math wrong, you know, because, you know, shit happens when you do your math wrong, but I'm, I did, I'm pretty sure I did my math right. Because if you're working five and a half hours times three, that's 15, 16, it's 17 and a half hours right there, or 16 and a half hours, plus eight, you know, that's 20 some hours, well, 16 plus eight is 26, how the fuck? That's not five and a half hours. Yeah, that is where I did my math wrong. Because I worked 5.30 to 11. That's 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, That is five and a half hours. How the hell? What? I don't know. I'm going to explode. <laughs> well, you know, if, you know, you're in college. You know, you find an apartment. You know, you have $300. Government covers 200 because you're fucking genius. So you only have to worry about $100 in rent every month. Well, that's 20 bucks for food. Initial, forty dollars for fuel. That's one hundred sixty bucks right there. Well, you need brush. You know, you need toilet paper. You know, you buy the smallest tube of toothpaste. You, you know, you bring your toothbrush from home. Oh, that is a hard hit. You just use a water bazooka and a blast it to bring the face, dumbass kid. Well, that's one hundred seventy dollars right there. Well, that's six bucks right there. Well, you can't have that. Well, it's workable. So now the next week, it's forty dollars in food again, because now you get a whole month's worth of supply of food. Forty dollars worth of gas again, back and forth. Twenty dollars for restroom now, because now you buy the deodorant, your razors, shampoo. You know, you buy a decent amount of stuff. You know, it's not dirt cheap, but it's you know 
now you got a hundred bucks right there. It's seventy six, seventy two in the bank. Now you got phone bills. So that's you pay sixty dollars for your go phone. Well, now now you're down to six seventy two in the bank. Next week, now you got another. Uh, now you got seventy six dollars in the bank. Four, three months. You can work with it. It's workable. Now you don't have to worry about anything else. You just go worry about gas. So you didn't have to go. Let's say uh. Let's say uh, your gas mileage went up because you tried a different gas station. Well, now you don't have to fill up that week. Next week, you fill up again. You got no expenses now. That's a whole 176 in the bank. Right there, third week. You see where I'm getting at, though? You got to know how to manage your money to get far in life. And technically, money is everything because money. Because if you don't have money, you don't have a house, you don't have a job, you don't have a car, you don't have a gun, you don't have ammo. You have nothing, pretty much. If you don't have money, if you got. If you pretty much don't have any clothes on your back if you have no money at all. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. Catch you all later.